WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets near lows of the session right now. Dow Jones negative 259 points, trading at 29,120. S and P's negative by 17, trading at 33.28. Nasdaq negative by 48 points, trading at 95.24. And the Russell leading the way in the negative territory, actually off almost 16 points. That's 0.95 percent, almost a full percent negative in the Russell. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start things off. We'll start it off with the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. It's been a slide all day, really, in the Dow. Not really catching a bit at all. 29,051 session lows as we speak with two hours left to go in the trading day in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, you see the pop we got from about 9.30 a.m. this morning. We trade up to a high of about 94.60. The NASDAQ now pulling back 94.09 where we are in that index. I'm saying the chart's not working. Let me see if we can try one more time. We'll reset, try it, get it in there. Hopefully we're showing. S&P 500, 33.25. Lows are where we were just at 10 a.m. this morning. So the S&P is as high as 33.40. You now have that price level, 33.25, breaking through just about where we were at 10 a.m. this morning. There's your crude oil chart, $50.36. Been tough run for crude. And gold contract trading inverse the market. Gold coming up to highs we had just after the market opened. Gold trading at 15.76. Euro U.S. dollar. 10944. In terms of what is driving this action, coronavirus fears, checking out what we had this morning, the jobs number, 225,000 new jobs created, non-farm payroll in the month of January, that far exceeding the 158,000 or the 165 some economists looking for, for that number, a big beat. Nonetheless, markets have traded lower on that number. A lot of that having to do with the coronavirus and the effects that that may have on GDP and economy economies across the globe. More than 31,000 cases as of Friday morning, at least 636 worldwide deaths as of Friday morning as well. Uber earnings out last night. Uber and Lyft trading higher today on that profitability that is coming in the end of this year. We'll start with Lyft. There's your Lyft action up almost 4.8% and Uber, the one who actually had the numbers up almost 9%. Stay tuned, folks. we got a replay this hour. Dave White, a little bit under the weather out today. Tom O'Brien coming up live, though, from 3 till 4 to finish out the trading week. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.